Hello, my name is Jay, and today we're doing a free PC build. Now, obviously, this is going to be parts that I've accumulated and gotten for free. And I'm going to explain a little bit of the background story on how you can do this, how you can replicate this, and some of the stuff. Uh, so basically, if you're at home, you can do this. But also keep in mind, this is a over a course of a year, um, actually multiple, actually a year, yeah, pretty much a year, of me just specifically looking to make this kind of video. So obviously, some people may not want to wait a year. Another thing is a lot of these parts are relatively really old and so yeah we may be able to play Fortnite kind of on okay frame rates um, but really what we're going to be doing today is just kind of showing you that this is what you can kind of get if you were really setting out to get something free and also kind of a little bit of the background story behind some of the stuff. So first off let me explain what I'm referring to as free. Um, basically stuff that I had no I had to pay no money for or didn't cost me anything uh, for these parts. I'm not losing any money. Um, so a lot of this stuff, um, I actually got a bin. I, went, I go yard selling is one of the things I look for parts, one of the places I find parts. And sometimes, uh, for example, um, this right here, on this motherboard and the other um, older system, then I have a newer system in here. So we've had three systems in this box, and this dude, uh, when I went to go buy him, uh, was 20 bucks for the whole box. Obviously that costs money, so it's not free. So here, please hear me out. So I went through and I'm like, okay, so I went, shifted through all the, or sifted through all the different parts in this box. Um, I got, I pulled one system out, it was a relatively decent system. It had DDR3. It actually became my $30 gaming PC. And um, I actually you know, sold it to my brother, uh, my mother, who was actually giving it to my brother for Christmas. So basically, I made it out um, pretty much clean. I didn't have any extra uh, added costs. So pretty much this motherboard now is mine, but I didn't have to pay any money. I made all my money back. So technically, this is free, and I don't have to go through and uh, necessarily buy anything or do anything with it. Um, obviously, this is running in DDR2, and this is relatively an Athlon system, so it's going to have two cores. Um, we don't really know the speeds yet, so we'll have to do a little bit more shifting through when we get there. Um, but my plan is to load Windows on, um, maybe get some Fortnite or something on there, test this, and this is going to be another one of those series. Like I did the $30 gaming PC, we're going to see if we can do a free gaming PC. Uh, some of this other stuff, um, like power supplies and stuff, I've gotten out of the trash at some like uh, recycle companies. Um, basically the, they just, there's a lot of stuff that isn't up to what they want as standards. Like, you know, Hey, this hard drive isn't big enough. We'll just throw it out and no one's going to want it. And so that's when you can kind of get some of these hard drives or you can kind of get some of the other stuff. Um, actually this is a hard drive I've had, so I don't know this. I don't know where I got it from, but it's of course that, that I, I don't know if I paid for or not. So I wouldn't count the hard drive, but that's basically for other hard drives. I do have an extra one that I have that I did get for free, which was pretty much just a really old, uh, like a 250 gigabyte uh, hard drive. So that's where you can kind of get some of the stuff. And then of course cases, sometimes the cases don't have the USB 3.0, so people throw them out. Uh, this one actually came with the motherboard, RAM and CPU and cooler, all that stuff, um, which was also in that big bin of parts, um, which I already made back my money. This is actually the system sitting down here. I'm fixing it up, adding an SSD for my brother. Um, but that's a long story. And um, basically what we're gonna do today is we're gonna build a system with no cost to me. We're gonna basically build a free system and uh, we're gonna test it, see what it does, and then of course load up some windows on it and go to town. So let's get into the build. So this wraps up the whole build. Um, I just kind of put all the cables back in and uh, tied it up a little bit. Um, this is one of those few cases that you don't really get to see what's on the inside. Technically it is supposed to be a gaming case and it does have like fan filters and stuff on the side for the graphics card. 
so the graphics card actually has air uh, and intake and stuff like that. Um, I could have side mounted the graphics card, I just don't have a PCIe extender, so uh, that's not necessarily it was something that, especially for free, uh, that's what the budget's supposed to be. Uh, that I basically just everything works. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing a separate video for testing though, because I have some new stuff I'd like to get testing. Um, I've also got a review of a 2070 coming out, or an RTX 2070 that'll be coming out shortly. Um, and then also I've got some other slight uh, you know, upgrades and things like that um, to do as well. I'm also going to be doing a dedicated video about like, you know, make sure what you need to do to upgrade your graphics card. But that's all stuff coming out later. Um, but mostly uh, this was pretty simple. Um, honestly, the, the biggest concern for me though is just that a lot of these parts are quite old. And especially like, look, you know, the, the $30 gaming PC, the, um, the motherboard's BIOS didn't even have support for Windows 10. So I had to kind of go around and, uh, you know, mess with it a little bit in order to get support. Um, obviously, since Windows 7 and Windows 10 are quite close, it was not that difficult to spoof it a little bit. Um, but as for this, this is actually going to be kind of difficult um, if there is a problem. I don't know if there will be. Um, but like the last time the BIOS and stuff, I had to really make sure that everything was, there was a couple bugs and stuff that I, uh, especially in particular the windows and stuff, was having issue reading the motherboard temperatures and stuff. So it was a little bit of difficulty there. That actually still doesn't work on here properly, on this system down here. Um, this I haven't tested on um, or gotten everything set up yet. Um, I'll probably work on setting up. It all boots up and everything. I just got to install Windows. I'm not going to spend like you know time doing the video installing Windows. I'll save that for an afternoon. I'll sit down and install it, and then I'll get some Ethernet plugged in, and we'll see where we go from there. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out that video on the benchmarking of some of the stuff on some games. Um, I don't know what games we'll be playing, but hopefully some games. And uh, yeah, check that out. As always, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Check out the channel for other cool tech-related news, videos, reviews, builds. Uh, testing, benchmarking, things like that. Goodbye.